Welcome to an, another session of CBSE Arabic Christian Arabic Lessons of the channel CBSE Arabic Made Easy. In this video, I'll be explaining the fourth chapter of CBSE Arabic Christian, and it's actually a poem which is Asfurul Jannah, a bird of paradise. Asfur basically means uh, a bird in Arabic, but it, it's also sometimes translated to sparrow, uh, a specific uh, bird in English. The poem is written by Abdul Rahman Shukri and it is taken from his collection of poems. Ala ya ta'irul firdawsi qalbi lak bustan O bird of paradise, my heart is a flowerful garden for you. The poet is calling the bird to his uh, heart, to his garden and he considers, he is, he is comparing his heart with a flowerful garden in which uh, there are many things as we can see now. فَفِيهِ الزُّهُورُ وَالْمَاءُ وَفِيهِ الْغُسْنُ فِي نَانِ And it, in it, there are, there is water, uh, flowers and uh, uh, dense branched trees. أَلَا يَا طَائِرْ means, he is calling O. Oh, أَلَا means, أَلَا uh, and together uh, with Ya, Ya is حَتْفُ nida means calling a person uh, when talking to it. Fa'ir means bird, al firdausi, paradise, qalbi, my heart, luck for you, bustan, is a uh, garden for you. Fafi is zuhur, in it there are flowers, wal, wal ma and water, wafihi and in it, al ghusn, uh, branch, branches, finan, uh, spreaded or very uh, dense ones. So he is a uh, like it's very natural that the bird uh, loves to sit in a garden in which there is uh, plenty of water and uh, flowers and uh, of course trees. So the uh, uh, poet is saying to it that my uh, heart has for, uh, all of this for you. So sing in it as you uh, desire because the love will develop slowly. Fagharid means sing as you uh, feel it in mashit, as you desire. Fa in al and indeed love, mirnan, is slowly, slowly developing or uh, it res resonates or it will uh, slowly resound because uh, he is explaining his love for the bird, bird here. Wa fihi mink an ram, wa fihi mink al han. And he is saying to the bird that in this garden or in my heart, there is a song and there is a melody from you. Means uh, you always sing in my heart and that hing, uh, song is always uh, echoing in my heart. Wafihi and in it, mink from you, angam, song. Wafihi and in it, mink from you, alhan, melodies. Wal ashjani awtar, wanayat, waidan. And for sorrow, there are strings, flutes, and lutes. So he is comparing the trees or the branches of his heart, which he has uh, dedicated all to the bird, uh, with uh, strings, with flutes and lutes, because uh, he so he uh, which is used by the bird uh, to sing, uh, and which he uses as a music for the song of the bird. Wadil ashjani and for the sorrow, autar strings, wanayat flutes, wahidan and lutes. He is saying to the bird that, O oh bird of paradise, indeed poem is a mental intuition. So again he is calling, O oh bird, uh, oh bird, bird of paradise, indeed the poem is an emotion or, or a mental intuition. Here he means that, the poem which I'm going to say to you is not something scientific or mathematical or not just it's just a thought that I'm writing a poem, but it's actually indeed something, uh, my heart feelings, my mental feelings, my uh, deep feelings which I'm explaining to you. So it's not something uh, just out of thought, but 
actually it is just it is a deep emotion which I'm uh, sharing with you through this poem. وفي شدك شعر النفس لا زور ولا بهتان. Oh bird of, you are your song will be felt like the poem of heart. There are no lies and false accusations in it. And you were free and in uh, and in Shadwick in your song Shiwaru Nafs there is a poem La Zuru there there are no lies wala buktan and false false accusations. So he's saying uh, that the poem which is a deep emotion there will be no no lies and no false accusations. That is because it's it's just the uh, deep feelings of a person. فَلَا تَعْتَدُّ بِالنَّاسِ فَمَا فِي الْخَلْقِ إِنسَانِ Here he is saying to the bird, don't take people at their face value because uh, no, there is no human being who understands the real value of a bird and uh, no one uh, is worthy of being called a man. فَلَا تَعْتَدُّ means don't count بِالنَّاسِ anyone among the human beings and that because there is not fi in al khalqi in the creation in sun because no one among the creation is worthy of uh, being called a man because um, we can see nowadays that uh, many uh, basically um, birds are being extincted and many uh, human beings are really causing a deep uh, extinction and uh, many uh, bad things to the uh, creation and biodiversity so he is saying that uh, don't take people at their face value or don't don't believe people uh, so easily because no one is uh, worthy of being called a man and here again he demands the bird for one thing which is he saying to he's saying to him to the bird that Grant me a poem, because in the matter of poem, we are brothers. Human is a human and bird is a bird, but uh, means there is no relation actually. But when they sing together, there is really, really, really a great relation between the two. Uh, just like that, the poet, poet is saying to the bird that if you grant me a poem and we sing together that poem, in that in the uh, in the matter of that poem, poem we can become brothers. Wajudli and grant me mink from you, Bishar, uh, with a poem, fa inna, because uh, with uh, it, we, me and you, means we two, fihi, in it we are ikhwan, brothers. Allah ya ta'ibul firdawsi, falbi lak, falbi mink, walahan. Again, he is ending the poem uh, with by saying that, O bird of paradise, you are. Uh, matter my mind is in your matter my mind is worrisome and he's saying that uh, like I'm madly in love with you I uh, can't uh, explain how much I'm how much I love you how much I'm in love with you Alaya Pa'il O bird al firdausi paradise Palbi Palbi my heart mink from you Walahan is a uh, is madly in love with you or it is always worried uh, of how to like how to make you understand how much I love you and how to make you understand how much my heart is a suitable place for you how to under make you understand how, how much I love your poem how, how to make you understand how much uh, deeply I'm feeling to write this poem it's not just a mathematical thing rather it's my deep, deep feeling for you over that was the explanation of the chapter and now we come to the exercise part of the chapter. I have uh, been expl expl explaining this uh, word meaning tamari in, in many videos, uh, especially of grade 9. You can refer that to if you haven't. Tamari means exercises, which is a plural of tamreen. The first question is, Hat ma'ani al kalimat al Bring out the meaning of the following words. Had bring out ma'ani meanings al karimat the words al tariya the following. The first word bustan, which is a very basic word in Arabic, and we learned from the chapter it means garden. And fi 
Iran means spreaded. Or dense. And Alhan means melody. Ridan means it's a plural of Arud and it means it's a, a musical instrument, lutes. And Nayat is the plural of Nai and it means lutes. Lutes and lutes are both musical instruments and we learned this in this chapter. Now let's go to the second part of the exercise. And pa if kulu qalb kulu And let me not forget to say that uh, the third question which requires explanation of the chapter in explanation of the poem in Arabic language I will uh, write the explanation in a paper and I will put it as a photo, in a photo form because I have already explained the poem in English uh, in a photo form I will put it in the end of the video and the fourth question is صرف الفعال التالية مع ذكر المعاني make the 14 patterns of the each of each word given below and with the with its meaning صرف means Make it, make it into 14 patterns. Al-fa'al, the given words. Al-taliya, the widow ones. Ma'a, with dhikr. Al-ma'ani, by mentioning its meaning. First word in our uh, book is Gharzada. And the meaning is chirping or singing of the bird. So I'll make it into 14 patterns as this. Gharrada. 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 Gharradu. Gharradat. So I have written into 14 patterns. The first three are for male third person. Second three are for female third person. And fourth, third three are for male second person. Fourth three for female second person. And fifth for uh, first person. Gharada, gharada means one male bird chirp. Gharada, two male birds chirp. Gharadu, uh, all of them or more than two or uh, many male birds chirp. Gharadat, one female bird chirp. Gharadta, two female birds chirp. Gharadna, all of them or many female birds chirp. And all of them are uh, past. Gharadta, uh, we are uh, speaking, uh, speaking to a second person, so I'm speaking to a male bird that you sang, 
you male bird sang you two male birds sang and you all of uh, you uh, male birds sang varatti you female birds sang varatuma you two female birds sang varatuna you all female birds sang or chip as i said uh, singing or chipping of bird is same uh, meaning for the other the in english varatu i sang or i chipped karabna we all sang or we all chipped now i'll make it uh, i'll write it for the uh, second word which is jad and the second word is jad now i'll make it into four beat patterns this one is the meaning uh, is uh, becoming serious so the first line is for a third person male second line for third person female third line for second uh, second person male fourth for second person female and uh, fifth for first person jada one male became serious jada two male became serious jadu Many male became serious. Jadat uh, one male one female became serious. Jadata two females became serious. Judna uh, many females became serious. Judta you became serious. We are speaking to a male person. Jud uh, Tuma you two became serious. Judtum you all became serious. Judti speaking to a sec uh, second person uh, female. You became serious. Judtuma you two became serious. Judtuna. You all became serious. Jutu, I became serious. Jutna, we became serious. So I'll write this as this is male, male. this was the chapter asura janna hope you and have understood the lesson but till next the video stay tuned but don't forget to like share and subscribe